Hello, everybody. Welcome to this webinar. First of all, I hope you can hear me properly and I hope you can see my screen properly. Uh, please, if you want to give me a feedback on the chat, that would be great. So we can get started right away. Yes. OK, that's perfect. <laughs> so uh, welcome. Welcome to this webinar. I am very proud to present. I am Eduardo Buratini. Uh, I am a professional uh, volume and order flow trader since 2006 and uh, educate, trading educator since 2013. Uh, and from, uh, I'm originally from Italy. I've been uh, living in London for several years. And uh, it's uh, right there that I started to get into the magic world of trading with volume <laughs> of course today uh, i am very proud to present this webinar organized by tick tick mill um, in collaboration with volumetrica trading which is a, a, a company uh, presenting a very innovative platform, a cutting edge platform in terms of trading with volume, since it has born on the 2018 with the uh, purpose of creating an environment based on uh, professionalism around volume and order flow analysis. And uh, of course, on this uh, uh, goal are based all of the trading platforms provided by Volumetrica Trade, Pulses and Ballbook. Uh, this is just the first of a series of webinars that we will go through over the next weeks. Uh, there will be exactly 10 uh, different webinars. We will go through the platform. We will uh, have a look together at its features. We will, and of course, we will go through uh, many uh, functions of this platform. And uh, of course, it wouldn't be, it would be completely uh, unuseful talking about uh, features of the platform if we wouldn't talk as well about trading with volume. So we will go through a series of technical topics as well in order to uh, use properly a, a cutting edge platform like Bolsis. So uh, this is uh, the disclaimer for, uh, for the, the webinar. We are gonna get started in right one minute. Today, we will be talking about volume. So we will introduce a little bit uh, what, tra what really training with volume is. Uh, I will give you an overview of the uh, of the platform, of the Volsys platform and uh, its main features. Of course, we will go uh, through a series of interesting topics such as connecting this platform to, to the tick mail, uh, to the tick mail uh, data feed and uh, how Tickmail account can be connected to the platform. Uh, we will uh, have a look at some basic features like uh, putting an order, managing an order, and uh, of course, we will then start talking about volume. So why is volume important, which is the main topic of the webinar of today. So let's get started. I'll give you an example of what Valsys platform looks like. Here it is. So this is uh, just a, a sample chart. Uh, here you can see uh, SP500. And uh, uh, this is my personal representation of uh, volume. So this is basically what I personally as volume and order flow trader uh, to conduct a uh, uh, working with volume, okay, trading with volume. So basically what I use is volume profile. Those are, this is a 30 minutes chart. And of course I have put right here the uh, indicator of volume because what we're gonna go through today is just, uh, is exactly uh, volume in uh, which way it can help our trading, okay? So uh, <laughs> where we can start from, let's get started by, how this platform can connect it, can work with Tickmill as broker. So first of all, the most important thing to say is uh, this platform can be connected to different data feeds, okay? So in this example, I have a connection to CQG, I have a connection to a Tickmill account, and they can be connected at the same time, 
So basically for uh, each instrument, I can decide whether I want to get data from one feed or from the other feed, okay? And of course, this functionality is uh, also in terms of sending orders, because as you can see here on the right side of the screen, I have a option menu, which allows me to choose whether I want to uh, operate in a simulated environment, or otherwise I want to get my trades executed through CQG feed, rhythmic feed, or tickmill feed, which is of course connected to a tickmill account. So this is first uh, one of the most important features in my opinion, because um, many times it happens that maybe we want to get feeds from an instrument from uh, maybe CQG or some other times from Rhythmic, some other times maybe there is a trade which I want to take on a specific trading account I have. Personally, I have three trading accounts. So uh, of course, I find this uh, feature very, very useful because it allows me to uh, send order through different uh, data feeds. And of course, I don't need uh, to uh, send my orders only to the feed I am connected to. So I, have, I can have at the same time platform connected to a specific feed and get my orders executed to a different feeds. Okay, so this is, in my opinion, something very important. And at the same time, through this uh, functionality, of course, uh, uh, now I will show you how to uh, place some orders and how to uh, go through the main features of the platform in terms of workability. Uh, let's. I will use <laughs> at the moment the simulation environment. This trading panel is uh, what basically we need to uh, send orders because as you can see, we have the option to uh, send a market orders, whether, uh, sorry, just a second, all done. Yeah, sorry. Uh, we can set buy market orders or sell market orders. And in this case, of course, the market order will be sent straight away. Okay. And another feature is, of course, the, the chance to, to see the orders. So our entry level right here on the chart. Okay, and this is possible either for uh, entry order and as well for stop loss order. So if we take, if we click here on the sell stop, I've taken a completely random long position at the moment, but if I want to place stop loss, all I have to do is clicking here on the sell stop button and yeah, by left clicking here on the chart, I can place my stop loss order. Here on the left, this red line, of course, being a sell stop order, it will tell me for this instrument what my stop loss in terms of money will be. So in this case, it will be $101.25, okay? So basically, this is a very, useful function as well because many times it happens that we enter a trade but we have to calculate based based on the uh, tick size or the tick value what my stop loss will be this function of course is uh something that um, doesn't need that to do that, that we don't need to do that basically and of course the same thing will be uh applied to a potential target because now we are long. If we want to set our target, so we will be using our sell limit order, which will be placed on top of our entry. Also on the order acting as target, we will have the value of what our take profit is gonna be. 
So in this case, I, I've put this all this now completely randomly, but <laughs> you can see my target in case it will be hit it will be $170.50. So, of course, those orders can be moved just right here on the chart. So we don't need to insert the value, the number of the price we want to be placing this order at. We just need to drag and drop the line and the order will be moved accordingly to our instructions, okay? And of course, uh, while the position is open, we will have here on the trading panel the indication of what our position is. So in this case, it says plus one because I have an open position an open long position and what my open PNL is. So in this case, unfortunately, it is a few ticks in loss. Okay, but of course, as I told you, is as a completely random position just to show you how it works. And uh, in this case, another very very useful uh, feature that personally I really love is the the chance of inside of a of a chart for the mini SP5, S&P 500. So basically I am uh, watching what the S&P 500 is doing. I can execute on the micro, okay? Because directly here from this chart, because sometimes it happens if you want to take the analysis in order to lead into the trade on the mini instrument, then we need to have another chart open for in order if we want to execute on the micro, okay? In this case, we don't need to because uh, this gray rectangle here, it, it tells us what instrument we are executing on. So basically all what we are doing to, with these kind of orders, I'll show you how to do that. It will be applied to the micro instrument for ES. Okay, so basically, we all we have to do, just in case we want to have just a single chart and have a chance to execute on the micro version of the chart, we just need to double click here on this rectangle and then switch maybe to the MES, okay, instead of the plain ES futures. And uh, of course, this is this also apply if we want to at the same time maybe take another position. So now I have an open position on the micro. Let's assume I want to enter long because maybe I have seen something else quite interesting, but I want to execute on the mini ES. So all I have to do is just double clicking here, switch to ES. And as you can see, orders, the orders I've placed on the micro are not there anymore. Now, all I have to do is clicking again, setting my stop loss. And in this way, I can, I can have different, a different order management system based on two different instruments, but basically on the, on the on a single chart. Okay, so that will make life much, much easier <laughs> to uh, maybe uh, traders having different strategies. Maybe you're trading with a strategy, uh, which is a long-term strategy, and you want to uh, get into the market with using micros. Or in the same time, you have got maybe, I don't know, uh, for example, a scalping trade, which you might want to uh, take using a, a, a mini, okay? This platform completely allows to do both of these things, okay? Then, now, as you can see, I have two open positions. All I have to do if I want to... Uh, flat this position or uh, close this position is, of course, I can either close this position by getting my order stop order hit. 
So basically what I've done is just moving it to the level where the price was. Or otherwise, let's get back to the position I had with micro. Uh, all I have to do is going flat position. So position will be closed at market where the market is. And I still have my pending orders for stop loss and take profit, which I can cancel by clicking here, the button cancel. All right. And uh, this is why, why this that happened because I have put a single order in the platform. Of course, uh, Volsys also provides the chance of having an OCO strategy set. So that basically that means if I select a, a OCO strategy, so basically one can sell other. If I get into the market right now with a market order let's make an example here as you can see i have my stop loss and target already set according to how many ticks i have set into the in the settings so where i want my stop loss and my target to be and of course after those orders are already uh, sent to the market then i can I can just move the order and manage it as I was showing you earlier. Okay. Uh, the only difference is that the only difference is that, of course, once one of these orders will be hit, all the position will be closed, and of course, the other order will be automatically cancelled. Okay, because it's like those two orders are uh, connected together. Okay. It's basically like a bracket order. If one of these two orders get hit, gets hit, then the other will be automatically canceled. This is particularly useful because, um, especially if I want to uh, have a, a fixed stop loss value, of course, I don't have to place it manually. As, as I enter the market, my stop loss will be already set okay so that i don't have to worry about that anymore and of course if i would flatten now this position at the same time yeah as you can see the stop loss and, and take profit order are disappeared so uh, when an oco strategy is in play of course um, all orders are connected each other so basically we will go through we will go through many other features of uh, this platform next time next monday and uh, we will uh, we will see how to connect it to the data feed how we will how what kind of indicators it can provide in terms of the volume analysis and uh, of course uh, we will go uh, through some uh, topics in terms of volume analysis okay but we will get started today uh, talking about what volume is and why is it important so basically uh, i don't know maybe some of you will uh, is already to trading with volume or maybe uh, somebody will be just is just curious about that because it is a topic which is quite trending at the moment okay but let's say why is volume important volume is basically the measure of all the transactions that occur between a buyer and seller of a financial asset during a given period of time so uh in order to uh give a meaning to this to this sentence we will be using today the, the standard, the ordinary volume indicator, which is this one you can see here at the bottom of my screen. So basically, what does this indicator represent? We have histograms representing volume, exchanging that has transacted over a given period of time, which is basically the candle. If we are using a time, 
uh, a time chart, a chart based on time, in this case, 30 minutes, each candle represents 30 minutes of price, okay? So the corresponding volume histogram will give us the, uh, the size of the volume trading over that period of time. In this case, if we take as example, this candle right here, we can see in this candle, 136,000 volume has been exchanged, okay, have, have transacted. So basically, we have already a correlation between volume and time, okay. Uh, we will see, so according to this information, we can see uh, how price has moved and if volume was accompanying any price move, okay? Uh, because of course, volumes, volume gives us a very important uh, clue of what price can tell us because actually volume uh, is very useful to track, first of all, the significance of a change in the market, especially for technical analysts. Basically, when the price of a security changes, if volume is high, it usually means that the move is more significant than if volume is low when that price change occurs. Okay. In fact, the question we would always have to ask ourselves is, I've spotted price move, okay? This is an interesting move, but does volume really accompany price? When large traders are interested in a security, this will be reflected in the volume traded, okay? So that's why it's so important that any price move, any relevant price move should always be accompanied by price. Otherwise, that, that tells us if the price move we are uh, considering is a genuine price move or not, basically. So let's make a more detailed example. Here we can see price was basically was sideways for the entire day. Okay. And on and before the opening of the US session, we didn't have so much trading volume, of course, because volume trading was low. After Wall Street has opened, here comes the volume. Okay. And what happens whilst we have this volume, this actually right at the moment, the biggest volume histogram of the day, we see the price creating a new high, a new high at the moment. But the first question we would pose ourselves is, why on such heavy volume, the price, price wasn't able to make higher highs? On the opposite, it completely started a downward movement. Why? This is an example of volume not accompanying price. At the same time, we can see that after this move has developed, after we had such a heavy volume trading on the top of the day, on its pullback, what do we have? Decreasing volume. Okay, so we were able, price wasn't able to even retest the previous top. And in this case, volume were, was a company price because we have buying volume, what we assume to be buying volume, much lower than it used to be on the previous attempt of making a new top. Okay, afterwards, what happens? This small range gets broken and what happens? Volume increases. 
So in this case, we got this small range broken with volume, with heavy volume. In this case, we can see this histogram is colored in purple. Okay, this is because of a set a specific setting I've given to indicator that shows me that this volume was a majority selling volume. Okay, so there was a dominance of seller at that in during that price bar. Okay. In fact, as we can see, then price had this this uh sellers action had the follow through and we went straight to the uh to a level that i had previously tracked <laughs> because uh for many reasons which we will be uh discussed together during the next webinars was a point of interest for me it was a point of interest for a possible buying in fact it is a green level okay and actually uh that information was quite useful okay right at now right now at the moment we are still on a decreasing volume phases which is basically what i would consider right now a, a neutral volume so uh why i have mm, shared why do i have shared with you this interpretation of market and volume because actually the easiest way we have to filter what the information that volume anal analysis gives us is uh give me just one second yeah we always need to consider the relationship between effort and result okay this is a very important concept which uh was first uh said by richard wyckoff in my opinion one of the uh, most important and most a genius <laughs> a genius which more than 100 years ago uh was already able to uh find out about this relationship between price and volume what does it mean for a specific effort which is expressed by volume, we should always see a result, which is the price action, basically. So that means if to a specific effort, let's assume many buying volume, buying the market, we would also need to see a result according to the effort so basically we need to see price rising okay price moving upwards because in that case we would have an harmony between volume and price action so basically a convergence of factors and that would suggest that that move is made in a genuine way in terms of volume accompanying that move but on the other hand if volume and price action diverge that would more suggest a possible change in scenario it, of course that happens in direct proportion to that divergence that was right the example i was showing you on the chart here we can see a new attempt of making a new top with a surge of volume, but basically we can see after we didn't have we didn't have a result, a proper result according to that effort. And in fact, this is an, a perfect is example of a divergence in terms of volume, effort given, and price action result. Uh, the opposite as an op uh, as an opposite example we can see here we have a perfect harmony between effort a surge in selling volume and price action so basically the breakout of the previous low of this small range right here 
Okay, so that would suggest us that that would have suggested us if we were in front of a screen at the, at the moment of the US opening that maybe maybe this attempt this attempt of making new highs wasn't that genuine in fact uh in terms of uh what has happened after that volume in this case could have helped us to preempt even if you know preempt is a term is a word that i don't like that much in terms of trading but we could have we could have a clue or what that this this top this attempt of making a new high so basically when price has arrived on a key level wasn't so much it was that was more likely to be a false break than a genuine breakout okay of course uh, there are many ways to to use this uh, interpretation this analysis because actually we can use this very simple but straight and plain concept of effort result convergence and diverge divergence between volume and price move in many in many ways for example we can analyze the price candle after candle and seeing what volume for each candle tells us so that means if we have trending candles is price move being sustained by volume let's have an example using another chart uh yeah a five minutes chart of course we can have more example okay uh since we have more candles showing the price action uh here we can see apparently until so far at least so far it seems like market has found a bottom okay and it's slowly retracing upwards okay what kind of volume we have on this retracement okay we after the bottom was created we can see first of all a uh, volume getting lower okay but then two candles ago right after this top was taken out we can spot a sudden surge of volume compared to the previous bars okay so basically uh that suggests us that this small trend right here coming up from the bottom it is quite accompanied by volume and of course we would tend to see this information if we compare the volume histogram to the single price bars for example you can see here we have two bearish candles two red candles on these candles then on the first red candle here we had a quite high histogram on the next red candle we have a much more lighter volume accompanying this candle okay and then we have the surge in volume i was talking about earlier okay so that would suggest me that so far this this previous down move is maybe more likely to be retraced okay until where until the volume until we reach the level where the biggest amount of volume has been traded that, that means here this is the start of the move okay of course we can apply this 
key interpretation also by string okay that means uh volume in these examples can tell uh, in, in in such circumstances can tell us if price is trending or if trend is about to reverse let's make another example normally during trends trend conditions we are more likely to see a uh, volume increasing during directional waves and volume decreasing on retracement basically okay if we uh, make an, an example based on the day of, of um, friday last friday hold on just yeah okay if we want to divide this trend into waves so basically like this we will see that we have much more volume peaks during trending waves and a decrease volume decreases on its retracements okay and what i personally here find very uh straightforward is this histogram here it happens exactly exactly at the end of this retracement after volume has gone down okay and then this shows us uh, that the price is willing to actually uh, get on with the trade with the trend okay and then we see that volume is quite sustained until what happens we have a huge surge in volume right at the end of the move that top gets the attempt we were talking about earlier today and how is this top made uh, sorry this top made with much much less volume so basically this is another reason compared to the at the day when the top was made if we analyze this situation from this perspective we can see that we had an exhausted top okay but from the perspective of today we had lots we had lots of volume trying to break that high and actually didn't make it so that div divergence of a massive effort with basically no result. Okay, uh, I think uh, we are. I have said everything for <laughs> for today. Uh, are there any questions about the volume? about the analysis I have shared or about the about using the platform, of course. Uh, let me just have a check on the chat. No, no questions. OK, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully everything was uh, crystal clear. OK, <laughs> uh, so uh, oh, there is a new message. Can we see the exact volume number on each bar? Yeah, of course. Uh, basically, what we can do to have this info, uh, we can yeah put the cursor here, and the value showing on the right side will give us exactly the number of volume traded. In this case, sixteen thousand eight hundred ninety nine. And of course, this is a value according to this 
referring to this candle. Okay, so basically to five minutes of price and within this range. Okay, this range for the candle. Of course, this is still a uh, basic information because over the next appointments, we will uh, go through uh, many application of volume analysis. Uh, we will uh, also talk about all the flow analysis in the last two or three webinars. And uh, of course, we will uh, uh, go much deeper than that. But today we have we have seen we have uh, uh, we have seen together how also a very simple volume analysis made and based on just three concepts can also can still give us very useful and important informations so uh i uh I can, sorry, I'm just reading a question. Uh, yeah, can the histogram volume be divided into bears and bull to see sentiment? Of course, yes. Yes, uh, that can be done. We will, uh, we will talk about that on next webinar when we will be talking about how to set this volume indicator, which as you can see, uh, it, it not only shows us the uh, amount of total volume uh, transacted for each bar, it also uh, can give us gives us information about what if sellers or buyers were in dominance for that uh, for that bar, basically for that period of time. Uh, then, is volume an universal measurement, or does it only reflect the transactions within a particular brokerage uh, if we are working with a uh, futures instrument volume is centralized by the exchange so uh, basically we have a universal uh, measurement in that case uh, so for example right now i am looking at the es future so basically this volume is universal for everybody watching the ES and same things for NASDAQ and for any future. Okay, so uh, I, I am very <laughs> uh, happy to thank you so much for your participation, for your attention, and uh, hopefully as a first webinar, uh, <laughs> it got your interest. And uh, for any for any information, you can uh, refer. You can ask for yeah any inquiries to this email info at volumetricatrading.com uh, next webinar will be next monday so march 28th still at 7 pm and we will be talking about a, more, a deeper overview of pulses platform we will uh, have a look of, on how to set up the platform how to make an order a proper order management and we will talk about volume based indicators more deeper than today than we did today okay uh, thank you so much <laughs> this was an excellent an excellent session thank you learned a lot thank you so much i'm very i'm really so happy to hear that <laughs> um, um to suddenly it will be possible to rewatch i think so because uh as i'm recording the entire session i think uh, tickmill will uh, make it available for viewing uh on maybe i think it will be on the private area okay so uh yeah it will be everything is recorded so <laughs> okay so uh thank you so much again for your attention and for your participation have a good evening and see you on next monday cheers